Hey everyone, Jelani Smith again, Applications Engineer for Trimble Perspective, and I'm back with another video in the Trimble Perspective training series. And in this one, we will be learning the different functionalities of the icon bar on the left side of the screen. So let's get right into it. Okay, let's talk a bit more about the different views available within Perspective. The default view within Perspective is the map view. And the map view allows you to visualize scan data from the top while locked in a 2D projection. And in this view, the station is represented with a marker, that being the triangle, as well as a label, that being the number placed right beside the triangle. And you can zoom in or out of all that is displayed by stretching or pinching with two fingers when using a tablet. You can also pan by sliding with your finger. Or if you're on a desktop, you can use your mouse or keypad to complete set functions. Now moving on, the 3D view box allows you to switch from the current 2D view to an unlocked 3D view. Next, we'll discuss the magnifier tool. Now this toolbox allows you to load more points inside a specific area. And as you can see, I'm now able to view this portion of the playground with a higher level of clarity. Next, we'll talk about the Zoom Extends box. And the Zoom Extends box allows you to fit the scanning results to the center of the view. Now, the Views box lets you display the scanning results from the top view, the right view, and the left view. Next, We'll move on to the display box, which expands the following options. First, the I box lets you display all hidden stations. The I box with the slash over it lets you hide all displayed stations. The clock with the marker icon allows you to display the most recent station or stations. And the last icon, which resembles planets orbiting a sun, allows you to display the stations closest to the selected station. The options icon allows you to access the following options. The dark cloud icon allows you to hide all the points whose normal faces the screen, and a normal is the perpendicular direction from a plane. The white cloud icon allows you to display points of the scan data without any visibility filtering. The icon depicting three dots allows you to change the displayed point size. Next, the marker icon allows you to hide all station markers, labels, and registration links if included. The footnote icon allows you to hide all station labels. The pinpoint icon allows you to display all annotation or precision points. And the pinpoint icon with the marker underneath allows you to display all annotations or precision points of a chosen station. Next, we'll discuss the different color coding icons. The station color allows you to render the displayed points with one color per station. The scan color icon allows you to render displayed points with one color per scan. The grayscale intensity icon allows you to render displayed points using the grayscale defined by their intensity. The true color icon allows you to render displayed points using their real color. The color coded intensity icon allows you to render displayed points with color-coded intensity. The color-coded elevation icon allows you to render points based on the height information found in the points. The registration set color icon allows you to render the displayed points with one color per group. Finally, the thumbnail in the bottom left corner allows you to move in and out of station and map views. When clicking a specific station, you are also presented with the option of registering that station, exporting it, displaying the stations nearest it, the station view, 
finding that station, or deleting it. As always, I thank you all for tuning in. I hope this was super informative. And be on the lookout for more content because it's always on the way. And until next time, see you.